Hey everyone, it is me, Fashion Coder, and today we're just going to go through PulseX and Pulse Chain on Testnet V4 because there is a lot going on. And if you haven't checked it out yet, I highly recommend that you do check it out because Pulse Chain mainnet launch is closer than ever. And to prove it, it even says it on the website. <laughs> All right, so if you come to PulseChain.com, you can see that it gives you the Testnet V4 information. You can also add it from the actual explorer. So if you just, oh, actually not that. If you add it from, actually I think it might be this. Nope, it is not. If we go to uh, dashboard, that might be it. Okay, no, never mind. Don't listen to me when it comes to this particular thing. I was literally just on this website, but that's okay. We will hopefully find ourselves there in a second. But there is just a button that you can add. Oh, here it is. This. <laughs> it is the scan. So if you go to the very bottom, you can just add testnet v4. There is one bug that I found that so far while going through um, Pulse Chain. So if you do go into, okay, so we're in Pulse Chain right here. If we click Pulse X right here, it's going to ask us to switch to Pulse Chain. And the reason why it asks us to do this is because it's V3, not V4. So just be careful when you're going through it that you make sure that it says V4 up here because if you are on PulseChain.com and just te click on Pulse X right here, you'll be able to go to it for that. So it just hasn't changed. Also, you could just go into the URL and change the four instead of the three. There's lots of options here and it's super easy to get around. Um, but I always love finding bugs because it just, it makes me happy <laughs> in the sense of it's, it just means that they're still working on it and that is awesome. Okay, so if we actually come into the scan, we can see all the information right here, but if we come into our apps, I actually don't think you can go to V3 anymore. Nope, you can't. If we come into the apps, we can look at the Beacon Explorer, which is one of the pages that we were on earlier. But this is where you can look at the validators and the statistics within them. There are 4,000, over 4,000 validators right now that are available. And like, that's awesome. I'm actually pretty sure I saw something on Twitter that that's the most validators that any chain has. You can tell me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. And this is a test net. Like this isn't even live. So that's, or, I mean, it is live. It's not even main net. There we go. <laughs> so kind of cool. You can come in, read about this. And there are several tutorials out there right now that you can use to be able to become a validator if you'd like. You do need about 32 million pulse to become a validator, so keep that in mind. But there is this right here. Okay, so there's that. And if we want, okay, so see, we click on pulse X. I actually haven't tried it where I just put in the four. Beautiful. All right, so right here in my dummy account, I have some pulse and I can trade it for pulse X. Honestly, I don't know what account my pulse X is in right now. I keep like changing them for all of my tutorials and stuff and then just end up being in different wallets uh, because I have several test wallets, which is great. Okay. So say I want to do 50,000 pulse. Oh, wow. Okay. What is the price of pulse right now? Let's see. One pulse price equals 3.4 pulse X. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's great. We're going to swap it. Confirm swap. MetaMask is going to pull up. Beautiful. And then we're going to confirm. Okay. And then this transaction will go through in just a second. I love pulse X. I love this swap. This crazy enough. So I really didn't understand like pools or liquidity or anything like that until I actually started playing with the test net. I mean, I had used Uniswap and all that type of thing before. Oh, now I have a balance. It was showing zero earlier, but I, oh, maybe it was 174,000. I did 50,000 pulls. Never mind. So the exchange actually really helped me learn what like liquidity is and what the liquidity is here as well. So I don't think I have any liquidity right now. I can add liquidity. So let's do pulse X and pulse. 
you don't have a liquidity in this pool, add liquidity. Okay, we're gonna click on that. And how about we do 20,000. That's 70,000 pulse X, enable pulse X. Oop, nope. Okay, wait, I don't wanna use the max. I guess that's the spending cap. I don't know, it's fine. <laughs> Okay, that is, oh, insufficient gas. Okay, we're gonna have to reject that. That's fine, let's try it again. Maybe not the max, let's do 70,000. Okay. Insufficient gas, let's see. Okay, so the gas is estimated to be that, but I definitely have that. Maybe let's edit it again. Let's just try 50,000. No, hmm. Honestly, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. This typically works. <laughs> let's see, by adding liquidity, you'll earn 0.22% of all trades. Okay, I don't care about that. I just wanna create a liquidity pair. Let's come back to liquidity, add liquidity. Maybe let's just do less. Okay, enable max, hmm, well, if you know what I'm doing wrong, feel free to put that in the comments below too. I have never had this happen before. Yeah, and we don't want that. Beauty does. Okay, well, I might be doing something wrong. There also might be something up with the system. That was really weird. Okay, that's okay. If we come into pools though, the pools don't have anything in it, the farms. I wonder if this is an account. I don't think I have any of my uh, liquidity pairs on this specific wallet, which is totally fine. So if you do wanna create a liquidity pair, you go in, you create that pair. Hopefully you won't have issues like I did. Honestly, I'm probably, it's probably just user error somehow. I have never had that happen though before. So that was kind of odd, but that's okay. And you can come in and do any of these. So it looks like these are the top ones. I wonder if there are other ones. Mm, not sh I think these are the ones for this particular thing. So if you want to do this, so there's the incentive token that you um, can earn from pools or as well as from Pulse Chain. There's also like you could go in and trade anything for those. So die or incentive or I mean Pulse X or Pulse, depending on what you have. So there are all those options. And then if we come back, there's a couple of other things that you can do too. You can work on the Pulse Bridge. I've had so many people ask me about this, of how they're going to be able to get their money from Ethereum to Pulse Chain once it launches. And this is how you're going to do it. So I highly recommend, I mean, not financial advice, but this is really just practice because it's testnet. I highly recommend trying this because it is something that's going to be important because if you're planning on bridging over money, you're going to use this. So might as well practice it with the sense of doing it on a testnet so if you mess up it's totally okay and it's honestly kind of hard to mess that up it's pretty uh not intuitive but it does take it and like go along with it and then also here's the faucet if you need any pulse or anything like that so it's exciting that pulse chain testnet v4 is out last time that richard launched a testnet he did talk about how mainnet was next but then he was like i'm so sorry v4 is going to come out so it's going to be interesting to see if like the next version is mainnet or if it's not or what i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments about that and super excited that we're here i mean it really is closer than it ever has been so it's something to look forward to i'm in no rush and i know that a lot of people are i know a lot of people aren't and so yeah it's kind of a mixed boat when it comes to that but we're getting there and that's all that matters. All right. Have a great day. Bye.